Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have, what are their true intentions in love? I feel like we do. Maybe they're yours, right? And so we start with repairing the veil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting how they use veil because, you know, the veil is like when you lift the veil, it's like you're exposing a secret, right? Some type of secret. But repairing the veil, maybe there was a secret here. And this is forgiveness. It is. And then we have the Winter's Dream card. And, uh, mm -hmm. so, you know, this talks about a gestation period where something is kind of conceived, but it's kind of waiting to be born. We'll talk about that in a minute. We have the cosmic womb. All right. So the cosmic womb is the divine feminine energy, but something is being conceived or not really conceived. It's sitting here in the womb after it has been conceived. And this is trusting the divine to create something right because in the womb the the child is created right we have the wailing tree and here he is and he's crying right reconciliation this person could come to you crying sagittarius they might uh he looks so like he looks so sad here you know how sometimes you know uh, when you really wail you look really really sad right it's not funny but your whole face is like in this downward mode, right? Like, yeah, like you look when you're crying or like what you do, right? The happy, happy card is here. And this is a very cool because it looks like you're going to reconcile, right? With somebody and it's going to be so very happy, right? This person is going to ask you for forgiveness. Maybe they're going to get down on their knees to Sagittarius. I don't know, but uh, this is very clear here how they are trusting their intuition here to return to you. It looks like, right? Yeah. And here they are wailing. So try not to laugh when they show up. God said, you, I know who you are, right? You could be laughing here. What? You may, I cried for you. Uh, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to laugh at you. Possibly. Let's see what we have. <laughs> if you're kind, you won't be laughing, right? I beg your pardon. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. We have serendipity. Yes. Wow. How cool is this? This serendipity card. This can talk about here. She is reaching for this, you know, the fairies reaching for this beautiful kind of flower here. It's a, it's a clover actually it is. And it's a four leaf clover. Yes, it is. So serendipity is, you know, it's joy. And sometimes it is like you turn the corner and bam, it's right there. Sometimes it can come out of something that you thought would never be that, like you didn't think it would be like a surprise kind of, or maybe it was kind of in the past, there was kind of a downer attached to it. But now, now it is like, you know, joy to the world here. That's what it is. Joy to your world. It is. Let's get another card for Sagittarius. We have the tribe. All right. And here is the mother giraffe kind of kissing her, you know, her baby giraffe here. And they're here and they're kind of TP kind of, I didn't know giraffes lived in teepees, whatever. Here's the parrot uh, right next to him. And it looks like there's some kind of, it looks like there's these little kind of uh, like suitcases where, you know, it looks like you're going to move in with this person. It does. They know that the tribe is like the family. This person knows that you're their tribe, Sagittarius, right? Yeah. You guys speak the same language. Clearly it's the language of love, isn't it? I feel like it is. So yeah and so uh we have this angel card here and we will turn this over at the end and uh mm -hmm, this is their card right yeah the angel answers so let's see and today let's look at this gestation period card right mm -hmm. looks like you're gonna have a baby here and you guys are gonna conceive one because it's right next to the divine feminine or the cosmic womb yeah this looks like there's forgiveness here and you guys are going to get busy real real quick here and, and a baby a child could be conceived <laughs> for some this really could be the case right mm -hmm. but for sure this is about uh, a new relationship a beautiful union that is going to take place mm -hmm. and maybe there's going to be some tears here it could be tears of joy just to reconcile it could be because they have the uh the wailing tree here and the guy looks um it's really maybe this is kind of somebody who has returning from years ago because he doesn't look very young right 
Yeah, no digs on anybody who's older. Has anybody ever thought that? Um, no way, because cause I'm in the club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got for uh, the winter's dream, gestation period, sanctuary, conscious awareness. This person is in their sanctuary, which means that they're in a quiet place. Yeah, they're in a quiet place. The winter's dream is a summons to go within. Your life force longs to turn inward like the sap of trees returning to the roots. I feel like that is so cool. Cast your gaze toward the deep and hidden places in your heart. Come to rest again in the sanctuary and safety of your soul and be at peace, basking in your crystalline clarity in that quiet place. Yeah, this crystalline clarity, this is crystallization is what everybody should really kind of really be striving for. It is a clarity and it is kind of standing in your own power from that clarity, right? Mm -hmm. this is not hibernation do not fall asleep take your quiet wakeful nature with you into stillness and know that you are replenishing your life source trust that the deeply buried seeds inside your soul the ones you planted even before you were born are stirring softly ready to awaken with the spring but don't try to rouse them early instead surrender to the quiet of winter's dream this person's coming Sagittarius and they are being like they're in a quiet place and they're looking forward to this and they are in their clarity and in their peace, they are gaining this power or they are owning their power. It's interesting how we have forgiveness first with repairing the veil and then the gestation period where they're in a quiet place, the divine feminine, they're trusting their intuition to create this with you. And then we have reconciliations. It's really beautiful here how these are in this, the sequence here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. And today we are using the housewife's deck because uh, we didn't clean one thing this weekend, Sagittarius. We said to hell with it, right? Let's let's uh, let's go to the store and uh, buy somebody a gift. Let's see what we got, you guys, uh, for Sagittarius and their person. Yeah, and you don't have to be married to use these cards, but I feel like somebody might want to marry you if you want that. I feel like they do because this tribe card shows a family. Now, it doesn't always have to be, you know, some people don't believe in marriage, and that's totally fine, right? We're not here to uh, change anybody's cultural beliefs. Let's see what we got. The bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, Sagittarius, and this is Thieves, Gossip, and Backstabbers. <laughs> somebody could be uh, like... There could be a backstabber here. We have these three women here and they're gossiping. And, you know, I can, I can guarantee you these three women are probably broke or unhappy. I mean, they're showing, you know, uh, they're housewives. So, you know, maybe they're not broke because, you know, their husband's out kind of, you know, fending for them. But, you know, people who uh, spend their time gossiping, uh, they could be spending their time doing more productive things, right? But there could be somebody here who is really like gossiping about this situation yeah there could be mm -hmm. let's see what else is at the bottom of the deck the eight of cups this is a failed relationship a failed endeavor and here she has eight coffee cups to clean mm -hmm. and uh she's like you know what and yeah this is a failure but this is just a depiction of somebody walking away or somebody who has been really uh unfulfilled in their situation somebody's talking about this person sagittarius and judgment is here. And this is harsh criticism. This lady's criticizing herself though, right? She's on the scale and, uh, mm -hmm, she's, you know, she sees herself as a ribeye steak and you know, she's on, she wants to lose weight. So she says, you know, uh, she's judging herself. I'm not perfect. Something like that. So, but this with the gossip cards here, somebody could feel, that somebody's really judging them for walking away from a union. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or gossiping, talking smack, right? Smick smack. Don't be talking about my Sagittarius. Don't, okay? Yeah, there's no time for gossip here. Let's see. Let's cut the deck. <laughs> there's no time for gossip. Only forward movement in your life. Yeah, don't waste your time doing that. Let's see what we got, Sagittarius. And uh, mm -hmm. we have the Three of Swords the four of pentacles and what you need to focus on is the king of cups and we'll talk about that five of cups wow ok 
Okay. All right. So here we have Sagittarius, the wheel of fortune showing up in the outcome. We have this brunette lady and she's been, you know, playing uh, roulette here. She went to the, uh, I don't know where she went to Vegas. She might've went to the church. Uh, what do they call that? Kind of the church festival. I'm not sure. Right. But long story short here, uh, this, she's very happy and she's, she won. You're going to win this Sagittarius. I feel like you are. And so in the heart of the matter is the three of swords and the four of pentacles. This three of swords is a breakup typically. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see here what they are saying. They're showing like a, a cake here and there's three cutters and the cake is like being destroyed here because here the cake cutters are, you know, going right through it. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is relationship troubles, love triangle and infidelity. Somebody's leaving a relationship to be with you. That's what they're doing here. And they're in a quiet place right now. The five of cups is in the reading too. Maybe they're feeling sad. Here she is pulling her hair out. Right. She went uh, looking real pretty and she's a mess now. Right. Uh, these drinks are been spilled over on this uh, old sculptured carpet. <laughs> and you guys probably don't know what that is. Yeah, it's pretty hideous. But back in the day, it was pretty. Right. And so, you know, here she is with these martinis and they're spilled over on the rug. And this is a disaster. The five of cups or somebody sad. So in the heart of the matter, somebody's got uh, relationship troubles here. I feel like there's a breakup here and they're coming to reconcile with you. Now, for some, this could be saying, you know, maybe this is what happened with you, but not in the heart of the matter. I, I don't feel like it is. I feel like this person's coming to ask for forgiveness. And this is where you guys are headed. Happy, happy serendipity and the tribe. Yeah, maybe they want you to move into a teepee, uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, I'm not down for that, right? I knew somebody. He goes, if I love somebody, I can live in a garbage can with them. And I'm like, you know, that's great. He was trying to say how hard he loves. Uh, but these days, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so let's see what we have when you need uh, heat and all this stuff. Let's see what we have, though. It's just, a, it's just a representation here. The Four of Pentacles is crossing this energy. This person wants to hold on to you, Sagittarius. Here she is holding on to her credenza, right? Because all her fine china is here. This person thinks you are fine china. Remember the song by Chris Brown? It's really beautiful. He's saying, he goes, you're fine. You're like fine china to me. I'm not really a huge Chris Brown because, you know, because just because it's kind of like not my era, right? But uh, I do like his music, some of it. And that's a great song. Of course, right? It's for younger people. But, you know, that one song... Uh, fine China. They used to have a cool video on that too. I think it's on, I think it's right on this platform. Let's get a card on the, on the heart of the matter. The Empress recipes for success. Here's the nice lady. And this is somebody who like this person coming forward to reconcile with you feels like this is a recipe for success. Sagittarius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have only like organic butter here and yeah, there's no, uh, and they're making this cake here, but this is her cake mix. It's all natural, right? Except for the pink frosting, right? That's where you go. That's, that's, that's it for me. I don't want any pink frosting. All right. <laughs> it's fake, right? And so, but they feel Sagittarius that you are their empress. And this is a nurturing energy. This is like a nice lady who feels, uh, your person feels you are very nurturing. This person's ending a situation because they feel like it's a recipe for success with you. Yeah, they do because of the serendipity and the happy, happy. They're like, I know I'm going to be happy with Sagittarius. Let me go ask for forgiveness. Yeah. Let me bite my tongue and do it. All right. They could be gritting their teeth like, oh, <laughs> they could be. Uh, let's see what else we have. And what you should focus on is the king of cups. This is somebody who's contemplating a new union. And hopefully they're not drinking too much because he's there drinking, right? But this is devotion. You should be focusing on the fact that this person is devoted to you. 
It's, this is like a reminder here that whoever's coming is asking for forgiveness and they're devoted and it's showing up here. And in the past or leave the past behind is this five of cups. Leave the sadness behind. This is what they could be leaving behind because it's next to a failed relationship or third party or infidelity. Yeah. And it's possible here that this is a third party ending because you're being chosen and this person doesn't want to be like infidel to somebody. They're like, well, it just not, didn't work out. And I have to choose Sagittarius. I have to, you know, I can't be with two people. That's how this reading looks. I, I have to end this other situation. Let's see what they say about the five of cups. Yeah, this lady, her hair is even kind of wet here. I don't know if somebody threw a drink at her, <laughs> but uh, this is sitting in the past or needs to be left behind. Emotional loss, pessimism, and closure. Wow. So this person here is closing out another cycle because they want to hold on to you. This person, because they think this is a recipe for success. Either that or they're like fake, fake frosting, Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe they used to have those when I was a kid, and I, I don't want that. No, I was like that when I was a little kid. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. So this is emotional loss. You could have had emotional loss with them. You could have been pessimistic about them in the past. This is closure. This is saying leave this, close this other cycle where you were pessimistic about them or where you suffered with them, you, maybe you have emotionally lost out with them. Maybe you are really sad. But this next to this three of swords, this could be saying they had you in a third party and leave this out. Move to a new cycle. And that's what's going on here with my spread here, uh, with this oracle spread. I love how it comes out in its own fashion, right? It does. It shows the sequence and the... Uh, the cycle or the actions being taken, the order in which uh, things are happening. And there is order here, order in the court, the court of love. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. The court of love in the city of love land. That's what's going on here. Yeah. You guys know that song love land. Uh, look it up. It's really, uh, really beautiful here. So your strength, Sagittarius, is the seven of cups. They have chosen you. And they, this strength, the seven of cups, she's looking really hard at this. In other words, they really know what they want. She has all these drinks to choose from. So this is about a difficult choice, but this is in your corner. In other words, they took a long time, yeah, to really look at this. And so this is what is supporting this. I really know what I want. I want this reconciliation. Yeah. They're going to go, don't cry for me, Sagittarius. <laughs> this person could be crying here, the wailing tree. And the six of cups is your near future. This is your, your old flame coming back. This is the six of cups. And uh, she's uh, really happy to drink this pink lemonade because she rem she has good uh, memories here. Nostalgia, innocence, and old flames. On hot summer days, there's nothing like a glass of crisp, refreshing lemonade. The Six of Cups conjures up memories of days gone by, youthful expeditions, and long lost loves. The coming home card, it may signal a reunion with a friend or even the rekindling of an old romance. Pucker up and savor the sweet and sour taste of nostalgia. Here they are coming in the near future to reconcile with you. Beautiful, Sagittarius. And the three of wands is here. And this is a job well done, praise or a completion. She's done cleaning, you know, cleaning this kitchen and she feels happy. She's like, you know, when my, when my baby comes home, the house is clean and, you know, I feel happy here and, you know, we're going to have a nice dinner or whatever. This is the advice. This is going to be a completion and it's going to be like a victory. Let's look at the three of wands. The three of wands, and this is satisfaction, progress, consideration. 
This here, Sagittarius, is your advice. You're going to be satisfied and you're going to make major progress with them. And your advice could be like consideration. Consider this. A proud housewife stands back to evaluate her progress. This person has made major progress in their own life, like within their growth, their emotional growth. Mop and feather duster in hands, broom at her side. She carefully inspects the area. They have thought this out through and through and very carefully. This person knows exactly what they want. They're not going to come halfway, half ass and, oh, uh, you know, I, I, I think I want you. No, it's not like that at all. It's a hundred percent. Excuse me, you guys. It's 800%, as I like to say. And the three of wands signals the first sign of success. This is your advice. Yes, there is still much to do, but first you must take stock and decide which chore to tackle next. <coughs> this is what they're doing. The satisfaction of a job well done gives way to the inspiration for further progress. Wow. And your environment is the four of cups, Sagittarius. She's rejecting this drink. This is your person rejecting something else. That's why we start the reading with the seven of swords. Somebody here is, uh, is going to gossip with that card, this thieves, uh, backstabbers and gossipers. Somebody's talking about a failed relationship and they are criticizing your person judgment. I'm pretty sure because somebody's getting rejected here. This is in your environment. This is their environment. Most likely. Boredom, overindulgence, and Inui. Kind of forgot what Inui means. I really do. But, <coughs> you know, this Four of Cups here, this person's bored in their situation. They could be drinking a lot, though. It's possible here. But for me, the, your person's leaving somebody here. We have a failed endeavor with the Eight of Cups here, a failed relationship. We have the Three of Swords. This is a third party starting the reading. Infidelity, love triangle. Yeah, and... They want to hold on to you here. This is uh, an, an intoxicated housewife stumbles back from a foolish binge. Another glass is offered to her, but she wisely refuses it. This person could have been drinking a lot too, uh, Sagittarius. The Four of Cups warns of overindulgence, whether it is in the matters of the heart, the home, or the bottle. Too much of a good thing leads to boredom or worse rehab change not escape is the answer this person knows here in your environment that change is the answer for them they could be maybe they could have been depressed maybe you're drinking a lot it is very possible and here Sagittarius the two of swords is showing up as your hopes and fears and you know this is like kind of like I hope they can decide I hope they're not at a stalemate it can be that conflicts opposing views and impartiality Maybe you're hoping that they're, you know, that they're fighting with somebody and they're just going to, you know, they want to show up for you. It's possible because you might be thinking for some of you guys, you may know this is already like that they're unhappy where they're at. And so you could be saying, well, I hope they just kind of end it and, and show up for me. In other words, it's not really a, it's not so much negative. It's more like, well, I hope that they come to me because it's time well spent, right? Any relationship that is failing if you don't get up and change it, it is time that is kind of wasted or lost, uh, right? Or if you stay in it, right? Like Thanksgiving dinner with the in-laws, life can be full of conflicts. As the blindfolded woman illustrates, it is important to remain impartial when stalemates occur. You could just be hoping that they're not at a stalemate and that they're going to show up for you. In your outcome, Sagittarius, the wheel of fortune. Here's this nice lady, the nice housewife, and uh, that could be you. Mm -hmm. but you know she won here yes she did let's look at the wheel of fortune and destiny ups and downs responsibility for one's own fate i feel like you're hoping that this person will take responsibility for their fate because in this reading it looks like you guys are fate and destiny it really does because they know sagittarius or you know that this is a recipe for success this union right mm-hmm Place your bet and watch the wheel spin round. It may be your night to win the jackpot, but watch out. You could be destined for bankruptcy. Before claiming the wheel, 
was fixed or blaming fate. Remember that you decided to play with the big boys instead of sticking with the slot machines. You decided to bet it all. This is what you want. You want this person to bet it all and show up for you. Yeah, it's very, very cool. So we're going to end this reading and we're going to go to their extended uh, and we're going to do uh, the same spread on them. I want to see what they need, what they're focusing on or what they need to focus on, what they're leaving behind, what they're, what's in their corner, their strengths, their challenge here, their hopes and fears, their advice. I really want to see that. And the angel card for them is be assertive. And this is what they are doing. They know that they have to come and be assertive. Like in asking for forgiveness, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to have their tarot spread. And uh, this is their oracle spread. It starts with happy, happy. Serendipity is the supporting energy here for them. And it could be the challenge. Like, I know this is going to be so beautiful that I can't sit here anymore. That type of challenge. And why it's all happening is the tribe because they know your family to them. They know that you belong to them or you belong together. And uh, this is going to be a 10 card spread, right? Uh, and we're going to end the reading. The extended Sagittarius, it sounds so exciting. It does. And the link is below in the description box. They're all super affordable. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.